Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, Space Unicorn here, bringing you some hot frag action. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the top five legendary cards in all of frag. This actually gets really hard after the first three, the first three being Crystal, Hannibal, Luke, uh, the boss. It's that simple with those three. Now, the other ones become a little bit more tricky, and we're going to talk about it over some gameplay. Now, anytime you think about what makes a great card, you look at things like ceiling, you look at damage, you look at speed, you look at health, and... That kind of makes it so you have only certain options that, well, really do what you need to do. Now, with that being said, I have picked five, and we're going to start this off with one of my favorite cards in the game. That is Crystal. Crystal is 100% a top five legendary card. And anybody that says otherwise just doesn't play the game. Um, it's, it's just, dude, this card can do it all. She can solo any card she chooses. And that's really, really, really unique amongst all the cards. The fact that you can literally just sit there and be like, yep, let's uh, let's solo this other crystal. Let's solo this tank bot. Let's solo a lucha. Because we can. Crystal has that one-on-one -on -one ability that makes her very, very special. It's a unique niche that not many cards have in the game, but she has it. So with that being said, Crystal's an easy choice for top five legendary cards in the game now let's hop on to another one this one's going to be a little bit more controversial especially from the rip and fin fans out there um that being striker striker has a very unique skill set okay he has a ridiculously high ceiling but you have to learn to play him very well in order to reach that ceiling. And if you don't, well, he's just going to be another card in your lineup that dies really easy because of a low health pull. That's just the simple truth of Striker. Now, with that being said, the value you can get out of that card is quite literally through the roof. I'm waiting for him to come back here on respawn so I can use him. Alright, Striker, you back yet? There he is, okay. So, as I said before, really, really high ceiling makes this card special, makes him unique, and makes him a top five legendary card. I, like I said, I know for a fact that we are going to get some hate from the Rip and Fin fans out there. Because Rip and Fin fans are always like, well, he's just a different Rip and Fin. No, he's not. He's so different. Like, I know they do some similar stuff, but that doesn't make them the same card, guys. And that's something you just kind of got to remember. Like, same, just because they knock each other, people, other players around, doesn't make one card better than the other. Rip and Finn is good, and honestly, I'd go as far to say he's great. But I would tell you that Striker is better. Striker's ceiling is better. You can do more with Striker than you can with Rip and Finn. And I know that's going to make somebody mad. Now, let's move on to our next character, the one we're actually playing right now, Hannibal. Hannibal's an easy top five pick. He is so good. Almost everybody is running him right now. He's just, dude, he's just that good. I, I don't know how else to put it for you. He's just able to do it. He's able to tank. He's able to dish it out. Very few cards can take it and dish it out like Hannibal. And that, that literally puts him in a league of his own. Second most health in the game. Really solid damage. A very unique AI and attack mechanism that pulls your enemies towards you whenever you attack. That puts him in a very unique league and class of character. Something that no other character has that he does. Easy, 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 easy. Top five card there. Now, that leaves us with two spots left, guys. Two spots to decide... Who are the five best legendary cards in the game? And why don't we talk about those next two spots, shall we? Let's get into some matches here, and we're going to talk about it now. You guys can see it in my lineup. This one's probably going to get some debate as well. Um, Hades. Hades is... Honestly, I classify Hades as a sniper. She has the range of a sniper, and she has ridiculous damage. Something that very, 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 very few characters can even dream of matching. And that really does put her into a league that she is alone in. There's not other cards that can do what Hades does. And 
that's just something to think about. Like this card can dish it out. You can control both sides of the field from one spot on the field. That is unique to this card. I mean, you can kind of do it with Crystal, but Crystal doesn't do it as well or as smoothly as Hades does it. Now, with that being said, she does have weaknesses like every other card in the game. Um, but, dude, I'm so sick of ripping Finn alts all the time. The AI is better than actual players with her. I mean that. <laughs> um, okay, let's get, Okay, really? I'm eating the rainbow, guys. But you kind of get the idea why I have Hades in that spot that I do. Now, that leads us on to the final character for top five legendary cards. And who is he? Well, that's pretty easy to tell. It's the boss, man. And if anybody wants to argue this, then, dude, there is literally nothing I can do for you. The boss is the best defender in the game, bar none. And honestly, I don't know how anybody can see it any other way. There is nobody, and I mean nobody, that can do what the boss can do. The boss literally controls the game as a defensive character. He can do the AI stuff, he can do the offensive stuff. You just gotta put him in a situation where he's allowed to use the devices that he has been given and it becomes ridiculously effective. And that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing a card that is designed to do stupid amounts of damage. And even with other cards breathing down his neck, the boss is still dishing it out to no end. That is really, really special, guys. I hate that first person camera angle there. Let's get rid of these two. Alright, now we're back to what we're doing. But you kind of get the idea why the boss is there. So guys, with that being said, these are my top five legendary cards in the game of Frag. I really don't see how any of them can be... Well, let me rephrase it. I know why people argue some of them, but I don't think the argument is truly valid. Um, you really need to understand that these cards, they're... See Dude, I just might have lost the game by that. Dude, that freaking ramp almost cost me the game. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea why these top five cards are five of the best legendary cards in the game. You can make arguments for other cards such as Rip and Fit, such as Ollie, such as Queen Boom... Uh, such as the crow, uh, Dr. Crow, sorry. Uh, but the truth is is that these five cards have higher ceilings when mastered are of a bigger value than the other legendary cards. So with that being said, these are my top five legendaries. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share and favorite the video as you see fit. And I will see you legends next time.